TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But if you miss it, you can just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, if you do happen to miss the live, man, this is where all the highlights will be. Don't forget, we do got the Discord for all your requests and things of that nature. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing Discord reactions all day. So, come join us there. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Patreon as well. This is a list of everything that's on there. Um, I do need to update this because we've watched like five, six movies and got three new shows about to start. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's get to this, man. This is, somebody wants me to do this. So I shall do it. Baby-faced kingpin jailed for shooting and running drug enterprise in Liverpool. It's always Liverpool, man. The pool, my fellow scousers. Y'all got to chill, but get your money. <laughs> my bad. I don't condone it. A schoolboy. Led a mob of teenage thugs in three shootings and a terrifying arson attack. Harry O'Brien, who's then age 16, controlled a graft line and a crew of dealers selling cannabis on the streets, but his lucrative trade was exposed after a feud led to three shootings in as many weeks. One attack saw bullets fired from an Audi at a BMW as the two cars raced through the streets of Liverpool. But on that occasion, a stray bullet flew through the front door of an entirely innocent family's home and landed on their hallway stairs. A gunman on an electric bike peppered another family's living room with bullets and fired into another victim's bedroom. Finally, O'Brien had petrol poured through the letterbox of her mum's home and set ablaze as she and her children ran for their lives. O'Brien brought brutality to the streets of the city between December 2020 and June 2000. He said, bro, hopped off Roblox the trap. <laughs> and 21. Speaking yesterday at the court, the judge, Neil Flewitt QC, said, Unhappily, the lives of wholly innocent people, including young children, were put at risk by the callous and cowardly actions of all those involved. The judge said O'Brien planned and took part in all three shootings, orchestrated the arson, and the cannabis plot was his enterprise. Yeah. A feud had developed between two families of Franchettis and the Rosarios in Liverpool, which led to the violence. But David Temkin, the prosecuting QC, said Harry O'Brien was at the heart of the criminality in this case. Harry O'Brien was out here 12 with his own, you know what I'm saying? With his own, with his own, like he was top dog at 12? Michael McLean, who's then age 16, and Aaron Donahue, who's then age 19, were his lieutenants, giving managerial responsibility over his drugs trade. Daniel Lawler joined O'Brien in carrying out two of the shootings, which all involved the same Glock semi-automatic gun, which has never been recovered by the police. The first shooting took place, on December the 29th, 2020, after the unknown occupants of a silver BMW X5 driving around Dingle looking for O'Brien and his gang, deliberately rammed in. Look at this dude. He looked like he break the. He looked like he literally makes the best sub sandwiches that you can get out of Liverpool. Like I'm talking fresh pickles, fresh salad cream, fresh mayo, fresh lettuce. Like I'm talking the best. That's tough to another BM, it was being driven by O'Brien's mum. In the car were her son, McLean Donahue, and an unknown fourth male. She rang police at half ten to report the crash, and her son and his gang fled, and Donahue called Lola, who had previously helped acquire a stolen Audi on false plates. The prosecutor then said what happened next was revenge. Armed with a loaded gun, O'Brien, McLean, Donahue, and the fourth male set off in the Audi. <laughs> he is killing me with this. Hey, he looked like Lil Dirk, but like from Liverpool. Like if Lil Dirk was a Liverpoolian, this is how he would look. Like, close your eyes a little bit. What is you so, what are you, you off a of perk? That's tough. This is Lil Dirk, and this is O Block. This is the rest of O Block. That's tough. <laughs> they had that thing on smash out there. They were going crazy. McLean behind the wheel. Three shots were fired at the BMW in Dingle Lane with one piercing the front door of a shot couple and their seven-year-old child's home. The prosecutor said they were in the process of going to bed. They heard screeching car tires and found a bullet on the hallway stairs. The QC said evidence given by Lola at trial revealed O'Brien was in some sort of dispute with the Franchetti and Rosario family. Over the next three weeks, while staying in a hotel in Liverpool, O'Brien managed 
to acquire an electric bike. O'Brien and Lawler set off on that bike, one armed with a pistol, and fired shots at a home in Dingle. In that incident, three bullets were found embedded in a living room wall and ceiling. Then on January the 20th, just after 1am, O'Brien and Lawler on the same bike targeted another family and they fired at an upstairs bedroom. The gang next targeted another house in Dingle where a woman was at home with her three children. Notably, they were all from the Rosario family and the man that they had beef with, Ian Franchetti, was those children's uncle. The QC said this arson attack was the brainchild of O'Brien who sought the help of a 14-year-old boy from Toxteth who cannot be named and enlisted Shian Kanu, who was then aged 19, who recruited Mohammed Mohammed to carry out the attack. The boy filled a petrol canister at a shell garage on February the 1st. It was taken by Mohammed. Yeah, now nah, they was moving completely different. This was, they out here really like... They was thugging. Mohammed Mohammed to that home just after 8am in the morning. The prosecutor said the fire spread some way into the property, moving from the hallway to the staircase to the upper floor. The occupants of the house and their dog managed to escape out of the rear of the property. However, they all required medical treatment for smoke inhalation. Then on February the 12th, police raided the home of O'Brien's grandparents who lived next door to him in Liverpool. They found nearly £14,000 in cash in a plastic bag in the loft and one note bore their grandson's fingerprints. O'Brien was also seen with wads of cash at a hotel and a restaurant in Liverpool city centre and he was arrested. I think was out there getting it. YouTube, I'm smiling because... It's funny, not because I condone it or anything. I'm just saying, like, he is out there. He is the man in that moment. His aunt's home, where police found some £5,000 of cannabis plus cash. How many? At his aunt's home, where police found some £5,000 of cannabis plus cash, mobile phones, two knives and an axe. Police also raided the home of Nathan Kelly, a customer of O'Brien gang, and officers found a revolver loaded with eight bullets in a disused fish tank on the balcony. In a communal garden outside, police discovered a revolver wrapped in a black bin bag covered with soil. Following a spate of arrests, really be huh? those said to have been involved in the shootings and arson attack were charged with conspiracy to possess a firearm and to commit arson both with intent to endanger life. So in defence, O'Brien solicitor said he has had ADHD and was described as a risk taker. Hey, the lawyer just was going through with that got to be a public defender. He said, yeah, my client's got ADHD. He should just be, you know, acquitted of everything. That attention deficit disorder is a goddamn a thug. What the hell? What kind of case? What is that? Fire him. He added, it may well be those illnesses through no fault of his own have contributed to this conduct. The judge locked O'Brien up for nine years and eight months. Hell yeah, he did. If that was if that was the, the lawyer's attack, yes, he going for nine of them. He going, like, how dare you walk into that courtroom in front of that judge and say he got ADHD, he should be excused. You got to find another angle, my boy. Like, that's With an extended three years on license, and he must serve at least two-thirds of that sentence beyond bars before he can apply for parole. You had Lola who was found guilty of the firearm plot and admitted unrelated charges 11 years. of dangerous driving and handling stolen goods. He was locked up for eight years. Yeah, but clean from Toxteth, he was locked up for eight and a half years. Donahoe. Donahoe was the oldest. He had to get like nine, maybe. Was locked up for six years and four six. months. The Jews couldn't reach a verdict against Kanu on the arson plot. He later admitted participating in the criminal activities of an organized crime group and he was locked up for two years and three months. Also, the 15-year-old boy, he was handed a two-year youth rehabilitation order with a six-month curfew. And Mohammed Mohammed and another person who goes by the name of Kelly will be sentenced at later dates. So guys, that's the story coming from Merseyside. Let me know what you think. It's your boy, GC. I still can't believe that lawyer went in that courtroom and said he got ADHD. Look, here's the prescription. Can he get a lower case? That's tough, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post. I'm gone.